רב שך, רב אלעזר שך, עליו השלום, after the Holocaust. What Rav Fritz Chavetz Chaim said was because, before the Holocaust. People didn't listen. What happened? Holocaust happened. So what happened after the Holocaust? Rav Elazar Shach, who saw what the Holocaust did, first hand. Says, any time I see buses that take the Jewish children to secular schools, I know it's exactly like the trains that took the children of Am Yisrael to Auschwitz and thereby to the gas chambers to kill them. That's what Rav Shach said. Sending your kids to public school? Same thing like you're sending them to a gas chamber. Now, of course, many people that are liberal-minded, high society, and think of themselves as intellects, rejected what Rav Shach said. Went against him. Didn't make a difference. Didn't change the halacha. Why? That's what it is. The question is, how could it be that Rav Shach, Chafetz Chaim, Rav Klivansky, and others that we'll mention momentarily, how can they be so strict about simple Jewish education? Needless to say about the laws of the Torah, like homosexuality being forbidden and so on, how can they be so strict about it to the extent of saying, listen, you send your kid to public school, it's 100% idol worship. It's worse than sending him to a Auschwitz. How? How can they be, why are they so strict? And yet, Mr. Rational today, rationalist, Mr. Liberal-minded, Mr. Modern Orthodox, Mr. Conservative and Reformist friend, walk around with no fear of the world, no fear of nothing, doing whatever they want. What do you want to do? Okay, let's find a way to kosherize it. How? Why is there such a gap between the two worlds? Now, you don't have to be a genius to know. Who knows more Torah? Chafetz Chaim, Rav Shach, or Mr. Modern today? Who knows more Torah? No one is going to... Even, even the guy, the modern guy today is not going to say, I know more Torah than Chafetz Chaim. What he will probably say is, no, no, you're misunderstanding what Chafetz Chaim said. That's what he'll probably say. You're, 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 you're changing what he said. You are, you're, you're translating it your way. You're, he said it nicer. He said it's a sacrifice to the Molech in a nicer way than you. He didn't say it like you. But, yeah, but he still said that though. But it didn't sound like you said it. You're making it sound scary. Well, I don't know, you're sacrificing a kid. Or if you want to say it in like a, a nice tune, like a ch child song. You're sacrificing him to Molech and he's going to die. Woo! Like, what, what do you want me to... It's the same thing. What, but this is, this is the rational minded. They want to do things in a nice, with a jingle to it. Maybe a dance too. Put it on YouTube. With that being said, and as funny as it is, this is the truth. This is what's happening in the world today. How come? Why are the world so separate? Why, are the, why is there such a gap between the two? Ravavad Ya'alav HaShalom. Today is Zilula. When he found out that the head of the educational department in the Israeli government, Yossi Sarid, was getting in the way of how the Jewish children were going to learn Torah, it was at the time of Purim. Ravadia said to the public, when you say Aru Aman, that Aman is cursed, it's also Aru Yossi Sarid. It says, Aru Haman and Aru Yossi Sarid. Cursed is Haman and cursed is Yossi Sarid. He said, oh, Rav Ovadia, Rav Ovadia, Rav Ovadia is the door, what are you doing? How can you talk like that? It's another Jew. He's getting in the way of Jewish education. He's cursed from Shemaim. Yeah, but he's already cursed by the Torah. Yeah, but I need to curse him also. It's a mitzvah. Why? You're getting in the way of Jewish education. We're scared of what's going to happen as a result. 
People today walk around with no care in the world. They make sins, they find a way to make a kosher in their own eyes, in their own perspective. Yet our biggest sages that we've ever had, even in recent memory, for something as, we can say, minor, as education, they make a big stink out of it. Curse all the curses of the Torah. Say it's the equivalent of the Holocaust. Say it's the equivalent of idolatry. Say it's a person is cursed forever. Worst curse in the Torah is Ahu. How could it be? Mm -hmm.